If you have anything terribly important you need to say to your Twitter followers, I suggest you say it now. Welcome to Escape in the Echo Chamber. Twitter has been going through some changes as of lately. So we all know Elon Musk recently bought Twitter and he decided, you know, hey, I want to do things differently, which, hey, I get it. The content curation system had been being run by individuals and one individual in particular who we're publicly aware of, Vijay Gad, I can't pronounce her name, but she was somebody who clearly leaned left, had a bias and was demonstrated herself to be incapable of just doing her job and leaving her personal bias outside of it. So her, her personal bias would be manifest in the way in which she did certain things. I've talked about the banning of the New York Post doing a story on Hunter Biden in the run up to the 2020 election. Absolutely bogus. The action was bogus because the story was real, but she's gone. And the thought was, okay, Elon's going to just make sure straight down the middle, no more bias. That's what you could hope for. But Elon says, no, no, it's more than that. I got to make money. Spent $44 billion on this. I got to get my money back. Now, when you consider that Twitter had been losing money, that becomes a much more difficult proposition. You see, because they were, they weren't getting enough money to even cover their debts. So they're just, they were hemorrhaging money. His idea was, well, he had several ideas. One $8 verification that didn't quite work out so well because people started impersonating companies. So he had to shut that down, but that wasn't the biggest problem. For some reason, he decided that he was going to come down to Twitter and with an iron fist. Yeah, I'm going to get this, this ship in shape. Like, Hey dude, uh, you're, you're the boss, but you might want to, you might want to tread lightly. You might want to deal differently. These are people that are working and you might want to just be a little bit easier. Nah, he know what he was doing. He's been like, he got rid of a bunch of people already. Then he says, you know what? Everybody come into the office because some people were working from home. He says, no, 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 no. From now on, you either, you either work in the office or that's considered your resignation. Like, okay, wow, this, this, this tough guy stance, you may think it's a good idea, but it may not work out the way you think. That's not all because yesterday he decides to send out an email. This email says, okay, this is the way we're doing things at Twitter so far from, from now on, we're going hard. This is Twitter 2.0. We're going hard, hardcore Twitter. Like this is, you, you better be prepared to put in the hours, to put in the work. He also got rid of free lunch because apparently they were getting free lunch uh, provided by the company. No, no, we're cutting costs. We got to save money. Yeah, Elon, I get that that's your priority, but you got to realize that these people, they have other priorities. They, they may want to Twitter to work well, but incentives help them. Like their primary job, their primary incentive isn't whether or not Elon makes money. It's just not. That's yours because you're Elon. They're not Elon. But he has his, his plan, his vision, and he says, you know what? Not only that, 5 p.m. tomorrow, this is what he said yesterday, by 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, y'all have to make, make it known whether or not you're going to stay on board or get three months severance. So either, and this is, this is the, the area where I think he didn't actually think this through. So he didn't realize what options he was giving them. Either you stay at the job, you're, you're putting in extra hours, you're, you're grinding, we're getting rid of the perks and you know, the, the things that kind of make this job fun. We're getting rid of all that. This is going to be hardcore. It's going to be hard work. You're going to put your nose to the grind or you can take three months severance. Like he really didn't stop and think about what he was actually offering them. A much more high pressure work environment with no perks and much more stress or three months worth of pay free and clear. Like, did you really think about this before? Clearly he didn't because a whole bunch of people decide, you know what? We'll take the money. <laughs> yeah. Give us the money. He didn't expect how many people were going to leave. So right now, earlier this, this afternoon, earlier this evening, they, I saw something on Twitter and somebody said that Twitter offices were locked. I'm like, okay, listen, you, you, you can't just fall for this information. People can write anything on Twitter. So I actually did some digging, Googled it. No, no, that's, that's real. That's not fake news. 
it's not fake news. Twitter actually closed down its offices because right now, apparently he's scared of disgruntled employees sabotaging the company. There are reports from anonymous employees that are saying they're, they do not have the staff required to run critical systems at Twitter. This is an absolute shit show. Let me tell you how much of a shit show this is. Do you know what's trending on Twitter? Hold on. We're going to find out. We're going to take a look at what's trending. We're going to take a look at what's trending on Twitter right now. RIP Twitter. That's one of the things trending. Well, Twitter. That's another thing. Tumblr is trending. Trending. Mastodon is tr trending. MySpace is trending. Goodbye Twitter is trending. Like, I'm actually reading these things out in order. Um, since Twitter. Twitter HQ. Titanic. So now you say, oh, Titanic, what, what's that about? Let's, let's take a quick look. Elon Musk moments after buying Twitter, Titanic. Yeah. So I, like I knew that the Titanic was in relation to Twitter because that's basically what a lot of people are feeling is happening to Twitter right now. Those of us that are on Twitter are witnessing the, we've already hit the iceberg and the band is playing as we're sinking. Twitter is going down. Apparently Twitter is trending. Damn, twi Twitter is trending. When Twitter is trending. So Twitter is trending. Um, okay. And Snapchat is trending. I, like, oh, this is the top 30 trending topics right now. Like right now, within the top 30 trending topics, Twitter's, the hassle, the, the, the dire state that Twitter is in is tr trending on Twitter. And that's why I started this video with the statement that if you have anything terribly important that you need to say to your Twitter followers, I suggest you say it now. You see, the simple fact is it's amazing that with all the money, with all this so-called alleged intelligence, Elon Musk, it's like he never ran a company. It's like he's never managed people. It's like he didn't, he thought that he could come in on some rah-rah tough guy stuff into a company and that the employees would just go along with this. Like you, you did, especially when faced with the option of severance pay, several months worth of severance pay, you didn't think that they would just take the severance pay and avoid the stress? Like that never occurred to you? It never occurred to you that, wait a minute, maybe I need to come on a friendly approach. Maybe I need to win them over instead of trying to lay the hammer down. Yeah, so it, that didn't work out too well. Now they say he's begging people to stay and at this point, because he's so far in this culture war, if as many people at the company were leaning left and on the other side of the culture war, they're like, no, fuck you. We don't like you. You, you want to play in this culture war because you're, you've, he's spent this time trying to impress culture warriors on the right, failing to realize what, no, like you, you needed to win first and foremost, the people that work for you. You needed to have them on your side and rooting for you to succeed. But you wanted to play the culture war. I don't know where this is gonna end, but it looks like it might be ending a lot sooner than we thought. As always, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, if you have not subscribed already. But if you disagree with me, if you think no, Twitter's not going anywhere, go ahead and give me a thumbs down and tweet at me how much time you think Twitter actually has left. I'll see you next time.